Good evening. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you guys? Everything's okay? Are you okay? It's okay. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? All right, everybody, we're going to start in a few seconds. Thank you for joining. This is class number eight. Okay, I will start passing the tennis, please, as soon as you listen to your name, say present. Okay. Tacna Moncada. Maria Veronica. Eli Janet. Maria Veronica. Present teacher. Thank you. Eli Janet. Nancy Castillo. Alexis Flores. Ana Maria Hueso. Present. Thanks. Ana Jeanette. Jenny Sarai. Present teacher. Okay. William Ernesto. Daniel Jeremias. Jeremias. Ruth Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thanks. Ruth Milagro. Luis Emilio. Walter Angel. Davis Mara. Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Sonia Maldonado. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Humberto. Sol Mayanero. Present teacher. Thanks. Gloria. Present. Gloria. Katie Lisbeth. Victor. Lima Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thanks. Jocelyn Bonilla. Present teacher. Thanks. Erika Yusen. Erika Yusen. Vilma Tatian. Verónica Milagro. Gerardo Chinchilla. Erin. Gerardo, hello, hello. I can listen to you. I'll let's go. I'm going to make sure with the mic. Gerardo, can you hear me? Can you listen to me? Hello, hello. Can I hear you? Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Okay, for you. Okay, pretty good. Uh, good evening, Luis. Hola. Yeah. Ya, ya lo pongo en la lista, no se preocupe. Erika Marisol. Present teacher. Thanks. Marta Stephanie. Marta Stephanie. Carolina Marquez. Present teacher. Okay. Vamos a poner en esta los que no estaban hace un momento. For Luis. Uh, by the way, good evening, everybody. Welcome to class number eight. We're going to start in a few minutes. Yeah, I was passing attendance. Uh, I will repeat people that yeah already said. And please, if you listen to your name, say present. Edith Janet. Nancy Castillo. Alexis Flores. Present. Thank you. Julia Ernesto. Julio Ernesto, Daniel Jeremías, Ruth Milagro, 
Present. Okay. Jaime Humberto. Kate Elizabeth. Victor. Victor. Oh, okay, thank you. Hey, Nana Janet, you're having some issues with everything. Thank you, Carmen. Let's continue. Erika Yesenia. Erika Yesenia here. Vilma. Vilma. Marta Stephanie. Right here, okay. Well, uh, we're going to start, everybody. We're missing some participants, but I know that they are going to join us in a few minutes. It's a pleasure meeting. It's a pleasure to be with you guys one more time. This is class number eight. Let's begin. All right. Can you see my presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Listen up. Before we start, I just want to point out some things about the platform, the module, etc. Here we go. Uh, well, first, I want to say about the the platform, right? Solo quiero eh, tocar un par de puntos antes de, de iniciar, ¿verdad? Con respecto a ustedes en la plataforma. Y se les ha, pues, estado dando seguimiento, ¿verdad? Con respecto a eso. Recuerden que debemos de ir completando. Si nos hemos atrasado por cierta razón, no con la gente como se han ido, eh, pues se les invita o que iba a seguir practicando. Como se les notificó en el grupo, eh, recuerden que ustedes, eh, el propósito de, de esos módulos, ¿verdad? Es eh, aprender, ¿verdad? Realmente aprender, practicar y pues completar las actividades. Las actividades, en este caso, una plataforma, dejarla toda. Eh, pues sé que algunos han tenido algunas dificultades para, para poder avanzar, pero Recuerden que debemos de ir avanzando. Así que vamos a hacer una pregunta en el grupo. Eh, el compromiso ¿verdad? de darla, eh, porque eso pues nos ayuda al final y nos proporciona, ¿verdad? Siempre la, la continuidad de la beca. Ese beneficio siempre. Porque recuerden que hay que mantener ese 80%, arriba del 60%, en cuanto a nota final caso la plataforma y, y también, perdón, con respecto a la asistencia, porque hay que estar eh, presentes acá en la, las clases eh, para pues, aprender mucho más y poder reforzar en ese caso los contenidos. Y, bueno, eso es lo que se en el mensaje de ahora, ¿verdad? En el grupo de la tarde, todo lo, puedo, lo pueden visualizar, pero aquí hay énfasis en eso, de seguir practicando y plataforma y eh, hasta ese día, porque es el día que finalizamos la semana 2, la sección 3, la plataforma, hasta ese día tenemos para, para haber completado ahí la sección 3 y hacer el mito. Recuerden que ya les estoy explicando el mito y pues ese día tenemos que haberlo hecho o, o hacerlo, si en el caso no lo hemos hecho. Eh, pero sí tiene que ser completo hasta ese día. La sección 3. O el metro. Que recuerden que en la plataforma el metro está dentro de la sección 3. Que vamos a completarlas ahí. Y luego, pues vamos a continuar mañana con la sección 4 y la semana 3. ¿no? Vamos a iniciar la semana 3. Eh, ese próximo adelanto de eso, ese próximo jueves, pues terminamos, ¿verdad? Vamos de lunes a jueves. El jueves, pues nos quedamos ya en. Podría decirse como la UF académica, ¿no? en ese caso por la vacación, pero eh, siempre invitarles, si es como se puede hacer, y no hemos, hemos podido avanzar, perdón, se les invita a pues, ir durante la vacación, de que es una vacación, pues, de descansar, pero se les hace la invitación a de que si no hemos completado y nos hacen falta algunas secciones, nos hemos atrasado bastante, aprovechamos ese tiempo que he trabajado y practicado mucho más durante ese periodo. Y nosotros regresamos, solamente se estén preguntando, nosotros regresamos hasta el lunes 9, 9 de agosto. 
este día pues nos reincorporamos y seguimos hasta la clase. Desde ese jueves 29, entonces pues, hacemos la pausa, vienen las vacaciones, ¿verdad? Entonces, regresamos el 9 de agosto. Lunes 9 de agosto, 9 de agosto, perdón. Continuamos, continuamos con el módulo. No lo, no lo, no lo hemos finalizado, perdón. Seguimos lunes y martes y terminamos la sección 3. Con cuatro personas, semana 3 específicamente. Y después seguimos con la última semana, que sería la semana 4. A finalizar, ¿verdad? seguimos. Y voy a quedar en el chat si hay preguntas. Oh, yeah. Jaime, Marta, good evening, welcome. How are you guys? Estaba comentando ahorita a sus compañeros eh, con respecto al desarrollo de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Eh, se les estuvo pues, enviando ese día una notificación con respecto a eso. Oh, thank you, Deep. Yeah, no worries. Good evening. Welcome. Les estaba comentando acerca de la plataforma, ¿verdad? De eh, eh, seguir, seguir trabajando, ¿verdad? Tenemos pendientes algunos ejercicios, algunas partes de la forma, seguir avanzando. Durante la ocasión, pues, eso les invita a continuar eh, despacio, ¿verdad? Porque se sabe que es, eh, se debe de descansar, ¿verdad? Algo claro así, pero, eh, pues, seguir. Si nos hemos atrasado bastante, por cierta razón, por alguna circunstancia, pues, siempre seguir, ¿verdad? Y aprovechar al máximo. Esa, ese, ese tiempo. La pausa. Y luego, pues, nos recuperamos el 9 de agosto. Lo adelanto, lo adelanto desde ahora. Y el jueves, pues, tomamos la pausa. Terminamos la semana, ¿verdad? Y la próxima semana, pues, libre. sería una acción, sería una pausa académica. Y regresamos el 9 de agosto. Y para ese entonces, pues, espero que ustedes ya hayan podido avanzar más. Con respecto a hasta no nos hemos quedado, ¿verdad? Así iniciaba la sección 4. Eh, yo sí, de terminar este jueves. Y pues, si alguien se ha trazado, repito, me invita a que siga avanzando durante el fin de semana y probablemente el periodo de vacación para que ustedes sigan practicando, sigan activos. Y pues, cuando regresamos, seguimos. Eh, eso era lo primero. Eh, lo otro, pues, ya saben, eh, que se comentaba ayer con respecto a lo del formulario, pues sigamos, ya se comparte en el grupo, pero que lo hayan reenviado, que se en una cierta fecha. Evening, Jensi, thank you for joining, Volken. Si hay preguntas, dudas, con respecto a lo que acabo de mencionar, con respecto a la plataforma, Creo que poco a poco nos hemos ido acoplando, ¿verdad? Así es que, bueno, si hay alguna duda, alguna pregunta, solo se solo me dice. Estamos en el mundo. ¿Todo bien? Verónica Milagro, ¿questions? Este... Estoy teniendo problemas con el internet, se me sale a cada rato de la reunión oh, y a veces okay. no, le, no le entiendo. Okay, okay. Se escucha como, como entrecortado, no sé. Sí. Bueno, eh, no sé por qué, como yo voy a estar bueno, de una manera de estar un poco reforzando, ¿verdad? Y recuerden que se está grabando, pues al final se va a subir la grabación en que hasta tengo muchas dificultades. Eh, pues estoy escuchando temprano que eh, probablemente estamos con lluvias en estos días. Eh, hay que estar listos, estar listos por cualquier cosa y pues estamos experimentando muchas dificultades con respecto a la conexión. Eh, pues yo entiendo, yo entiendo y pues hagamos lo posible de estar acá. Eh, como sea y aunque se nos haga difícil, explicar, pues ustedes saben que repita algo, pues. Y pues si tiene muchas dificultades, obviamente. Eh, pues le invito a luego ver la grabación. Ok, um, this is class number eight. 
básicamente lo que estaba mencionando, Verónica, no sé si me escucho todo, es con respecto a la plataforma. Que hasta ese día tenemos que tener completado, que si no, si no lo breve, ¿verdad? Básicamente hasta ese día tienen que tener con tres y el midterm, que tienen que tener completo todos. Que avanzamos, pues si probablemente terminamos, sale. E igual les invito a los que nos hemos quedado, eh, probablemente por muchas dificultades, ¿verdad? Eh, continuar. No nos hemos propensido, si vamos avanzando y pues avanzar mucho más. Claro, y por supuesto, si hay dudas, consultar. Ok. Eh, well, we're going to start with the class. This is class number eight. Uh, today's topic is directions and conversation. This is far from here. That is the topic. Specifically, we're going to focus on directions. Uh, today, by the way, sorry, it's just Tuesday, July 27th. Moving up. Let's begin. Okay. First, let's identify directions. When we ask for directions, for example, you travel to another country or specifically talking about the country, right? The country, you travel to other places, other departments, San Miguel, La Unión, Chilangu, or different cities, right? Different cities. And you don't know the places, right? You don't know the places. What do you do? You ask for directions. So here we're going to identify some ways to ask for directions. Let's see first some specific questions, some common questions, right? And you will ask for directions. The first one, this is asking for directions. Number one, how do I get to Plaza Place? Okay, how do I get to class a place? It can be whatever place, a bookstore, a hospital, and probably, say, a um, clothing store, etc. So different places, a drugstore, okay? So that is the formula. That is the formula that you follow if you want to ask for directions. A second possibility is how how can I get to plus a place? So it's similar. It's similar. They are similar. The difference is that we use in the first one a, an auxiliary, which is do, and in the second one we use a model, a model verb. Yeah. But it's the same structure. We have the same structure. Okay, let me give you some examples. For instance, how do I get to the post office? Or how can I get to the supermarket? You will have two ways to ask for directions. How do I get to the post office? How do I get to the supermarket? How do I get to the movie theater? So that is a way, that is a structure that we find. Do I get to the movie theater? Okay, that's one possibility. And the other one is, how can I get to the drugstore? Okay, first we have questions. The way we ask for directions. Okay, let's go a step. We we'll go a step by step. I right? step by step. First, the questions. Then we're gonna get the way we can answer this question, right? The words, how, give directions, okay? So far too good, guys? So far too good? No doubts, no questions? No teacher. Thanks. Anybody else? Okay, let's go to the way we give directions. How we answer, we answer those uh, requests, 
right? Giving directions. Let's see some answers. For example, we can have the following ways. You can say, go up. Go up. Go up. Walk up. I'm sorry? Walk up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Walk. yeah. The other one is walk up. Walk up. Walk up. The opposite is go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Or it can be walk down. Walk down. Go right. From right, exactly. But those are the other ones. Very good. You can say turn left on. Turn left on. You can say turn right on. Turn right on. On the right. On the right. On the left. Or on the left. It, for example, when you have these expressions like turn left on, we tend to use a, the name of the streets. You can say turn left on, again, as we said yesterday, on Main Street. So remember, this is a preposition on. So we accompany this preposition with the name of the street, a street, this main street. It tends to be like, like this, uh, turn right on the second avenue. It depends, right? On, it depends on the directions or the location, right? So it depends on that. This is the most common, the ways we can give directions. Go up, walk up, walk up. Go down, walk down. Turn left on, turn right on. On the right, on the right. When we say on the right, it's because Probably you get to the destination. And someone said, well, it is on the right. On the right. This is the way we use on the right. So it can be like the proxer. Proxer is on the right. Or it can be like uh, the music store is on the left. So these are the ways we use these expressions on the right or on the left. On the right, on the left. The drugstore is on the right. The music store is on the left. Okay. And of course, we have more expressions. Some of the expressions that are common are go straight ahead. Go straight ahead. Go straight ahead. So you're walking, you're walking, or you're here, for example, and someone. Someone tells you, go straight ahead. Go straight ahead. Siga directo. Siga recto. Or, some people use it like, go straight on. That's another way. When we, when we say on, it's because we have the name of the street. Go straight on Davis Street. Go straight on the First Avenue. Siga directo sobre la primera calle, la calle principal. Okay. This is another one. No. All right. Uh, any questions over here? There is another one that is go past. Go past. What does it mean? Let me show you. For example, we have a place here. This is a place. This is a, let's continue with drugstore. Drugstore, and we have a street over here. This is a street. Right, so let's imagine that you're walking, you're walking, you're walking, and imagine that you are here, okay? So you're walking, you continue walking, and you say, 
a well, will someone tell you go past go past the cluster. Go past the cluster. So it means that you continue, right? So you are here, you continue walking, go past the cluster. So you have to pass. Continue and you are looking for your destination. That is go past. Go. Let me tell you the way. This is go pass. Go pass. Go pass the drugstore. Okay, so you have to see a drugstore and then you, you have to continue. You have to go straight. Go straight ahead. That is go pass. Okay, that is another one. Go pass. Okay. Any questions? Are we here? No. Teacher. Yes. Tell me. I have a question. Yes. Y cuando decimos, eh, y cuando decimos, es hacia el norte, es hacia el sur, cuando nos referimos a los puntos cardinales. Okay. Yeah. So you can say like. You can say like, go straight on the north. Go straight on the north. So people say that the north, the south, the east, and the west. So you can say like this, go straight on the north. Okay, so we can keep this. Or can we like go straight on the south? Go straight. That can be the way. Those are the ways. Y, y, en, ese, y en ese caso, disculpe, teacher, y en ese caso, el walk up, el walk down, es decir, Eh, yo, cuando yo estaba viendo el video, entonces entendía que walk up y walk down más o menos se refería a eso, al norte, al sur. Entonces, por eso es que hago la pregunta. Yeah, I mean, that, that can be another way too. I mean, when I say go up, it means that you go to the north. The north. And you, when you say go down, it's because you go through the, the south, south. This is the north, and this is the south. Well, you can use those ways too, but those are the most common, go up or go down. Yeah. That's the way, so you can use both, both. Okay. Or just, you can say just like, go to the north. Go to the north or go to the south. Those are some ways. Most of the times we use this ones. Go up and go down. But they mean like that, right? Ve hacia el sur, ve hacia el norte. Go up and go down. Okay? Any questions? It's, it's the same when you say go up and go down. I mean, you can say go up, go down, go up or go down. Okay, so they are meaning that you have to go to the north or you have to go to the south. Okay. Any questions? This case, uh, for me, the, the, the best answers or the best options are this ones, go up or go down, or can be walk up or walk down. The ones that we have here, right? Are we here? 
So they mean a north, the north, the south. Okay. Uh, any questions? Make sense? Preguntas? No sé si está claro. No. It's okay, teacher. Yeah, it works in Gen C. Pleasure. Okay, we continue. We continue. We're going to use these words in context. Context. Okay, and I'm going to give you some examples. Here we go. All right. Now we have a map. We have a map. As we, as we had yesterday, right? As we had yesterday. Let me give you some examples. Some examples of you know, directions. directions. So we have two people, right? Two people. Okay. So one of them, one of them wants to go to a destination, right? He or she wants to get to a destination. Listen, we have different places. We have a supermarket, we have a theater, we have a stadium, firehouse, pool, a short, hospital, museum. We have a bank, we have a post office, or a gas station, we have a hotel, a, a police station, a bus station, a bus cinema, we have a pharmacy, and we have a cafe, right? And we have some names, some streets, right? Some streets and some avenues. For example, we have Davis Street, we have Palm Street. And we have the first avenue, this is the first avenue, and this is the second avenue. Davis Street, this is Palm Street, Palm Street. Let me give you an example, an example, and then we're going to practice. So we're going to be here. We're going to have this reference. We're going to keep in mind the two boys, or the two people, right, specifically. So for example, the woman wants to get to a destination, to a specific place, right? So let me give you an example. Okay, listen to my question. Okay, we have the woman, and we have the man. The woman is going to ask for directions, right? So we're gonna have a mini dialogue. Let's go. Excuse me. Excuse me. How do I get to um the theater? The theater. Okay, the man says, look, the woman is here. Oh, they are they are there, right? They are here. So the woman wants to get to the theater. The theater. Listen to my example first, and then you're gonna help me. Okay. So I will say. The man says. Sure. Go straight on First Avenue. On right on Palm Street. On Palm Street. The theater is on the left. It can be. Uh, between between supermarket and stadium. Oh, 
All right. Thanks. Much for all of it. Okay. So this is this is the way you you give directions. You give directions. Right? So the man is asking for I'm sorry, the woman is asking for directions, right? Excuse me. How do I get to the theater? Sure. Go straight, First Avenue. So the woman is here. Go straight on the First Avenue. Turn right on Pound Street. Turn right on Pound Street. In the theater is on the left, between the supermarket and the stadium. So that's the way. Go straight on the First Avenue, turn right on Pound Street. The theater is on the left, is on the left, between the supermarket and the stadium. That's the first example. That's the way. This is one example, right? Um, any questions about this example? No? No, teacher. Thanks. No? Okay, let me give you another example. So now the man, now the man wants to get to a destination. And now the man is going to ask for directions. Electric roads. Let me give you a second example. Example two. Okay. Listen to the example. Okay. Excuse me. How do I get? No, how can I get? Excuse again. How can I get to? Okay, listen. The man is here again. The man is here. Let me do something. Okay. The man is here. The man is here. And the man asks the question, how do I get, how can I get to the hotel? Hotel. Excuse me, how can I get to the hotel? The man is here and the hotel is here. The hotel. Okay, how can I get to the hotel? Listen, the woman said, go up on the first avenue, turn right on Davis Street, go past the cinema and Pharmacy and in the hotel is on the left. Okay, so this is the way because what you have to do, the way you express directions. Go up on the first avenue. Go up on the first avenue. Turn right on Davis Street. Davis Street. Teacher, excuse yes. me. I have a question. Tell me. And uh, and the question. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry. Ah, ah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. I forgot to 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 raise it. Yeah. How how can I get to the hotel? Sorry. Excuse me. How can I get to the hotel? But the man is here, right? Go up. Um, thank you. Thank you. Go up on the first avenue. Turn right on Davis Street. Go past the cinema and the pharmacy. And the hotel is on the left. Okay. 
or in some cases you can stay just the hotel is on your left. It's on your left. Okay. That's the way. Very good. Any questions, guys, over here? So far so good. No questions? As you can see, we use as you can see, we use imperatives. Imperatives. Go up on the first avenue. On right on Davis Street. Go past the cinema and the pharmacy and the hotel is on your car. We use imperatives. Imperatives. Okay. Any questions? Anybody? Somebody? Oh, my preguntas. Preguntas? Your child, your child today. Okay, yeah. It's okay, Tishan. Thanks. Yes, I have a question. Okay, tell me, tell me. Who said I have a question? Yes. Cuando uh, es? How can I get? Y cuando? How do I get? Oh, those are some some options that you have. You can use both. They mean the same. They mean the same. The difference, like I said before, is that uh, we use in the first one we use an auxiliary, an auxiliary, an auxiliary verb which is do. In the second, we use a mono verb, mono. Most most cases when you when you use a model is because you want to be more polite. Like, right? how can I get to the drugstore? I mean, but they are the same. They are the same. They have the same meaning. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Teacher, es como decir en la primera es como solo decir cómo llego y en la otra es cómo puedo llegar. Exactly. That is the difference. Cómo llego, cómo puedo llegar. Exactly. That is the difference, but it's the same. The meaning is the same. Yes. Okay. Let me see. Let me give you one more example. But now we're going to change uh, the positions about the people, right? So now, now the people, I will do this. Let's give me a second. I'm going to change their positions. Yes, yes, I mean, as you can see, we had just like three, three directions. Go up on the first avenue, looking about this one, go up on, this, on the first avenue, on right on Davis Street, on right on Davis Street, and then you can say, go past the cinema and the pharmacy and the hotel is on your left. Or probably in this case, you can say just like, you want to omit some, some expressions like this one, you can say just go straight ahead. Go straight ahead and the hotel is on your left. If you want to be like, you we want to express this idea quickly, or you want to omit you know, more expressions. So go up on the first avenue, turn right on Davis Street, go straight ahead, and the hotel is on your left. That is an easy way to, to say the direction. Okay. Let me give you another example, number three. So now imagine that the, the woman and the man are here in the stereo. Okay. And the woman is going to ask for a direction, right? Let's go again. The woman and the man. 
So now the woman is going to ask a question, right? I'm sorry. How do I get to? Remember, the woman and the man are here. And the woman wants to go to the museum. The museum. So the woman and the man are here, and the museum is here. Okay? Let's go again. How do I get to the museum? That is the woman's request, right? I'm sorry, how do I get to the museum? Let's go. So we can say, go straight ahead, go straight on, let's just go straight on Palm Street, Palm Street, turn left, turn left, on the First Avenue. Then turn right, turn right, turn right. So we have this, we have this trace, right? So the woman is here. It says, go straight on Pound Street. Go straight on Pound Street. Turn left, turn left on the First Avenue. The First Avenue. Then we can say, then, then, you can say, let me change it, go down and turn right on Davis Street. The museum is on the corner, on the corner. That can be another way, another way. Let's go again, listen. Go straight on Pound Street. Go straight on Pound Street. Turn left on the First Avenue. Then walk down and turn right on Davis Street. The museum is on the corner. That is the way. That's the way. Okay. Any questions? Remember, go straight. From Pound Street, from left, it's because we go in this position. From left, on the First Avenue, then walk down and turn right on Davis Street. Let me see, and it's on the corner. Any questions? Veronica? Any questions, guys? No? Uh. <laughs> Monica, Milagro, no. Uh. Any questions, guys? Let me know, please. No? No preguntas? Okay, sir. Yeah. It's no. okay. Thank it's you. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. Let's go with an example of a conversation. Look at the conversation presented. Presented, sorry. Listen and practice. La sala and Sam. Excuse me. Listen to me first. Listen to the conversation. Excuse me. Can you help me? How do I get to the pharmacy? And we continue with the same app, right? So they are here. They are here. Let me change it. Change it. Okay. Excuse me. Can you help me? I get to the pharmacy. Sure. Just walk up First Avenue and turn right on Davis Street. The pharmacy is next to the cinema. That's it. So again, listen. I'm going to copy this so you can notice. But you can get the direction, right? Let me show you. Okay, it says, excuse me, can you help me? How do I get to the pharmacy? So remember, they are here. 
Sure, just walk up First Avenue. Just walk up First Avenue. Turn right on Davis Street. Turn right on Davis Street. In the pharmacy, it's next to the cinema. Pharmacy is next to the cinema. That's it. That's it. Okay? Again? Excuse me. Can you help me? How do I get to the pharmacy? Sure. Just walk up First Avenue. Turn right on Davis Street. The pharmacy is next to the cinema. Thank you. And where is the cafe? Is it far from here? It's right across from the pharmacy. I see. I appreciate your help. So the woman or the, yeah, the woman is asking for two directions. Directions. Directions first about the pharmacy and then the cafe. So then for the cafe, just, uh, you know, Sam says, it's across from the pharmacy. The cafe, this is the cafe. It's across from the pharmacy. Okay. This is the way, guys. We give directions. Any questions? No. Preguntas, dudas, algo que no se claro. No, teacher. No, okay. No. Excellent. All right. Now we're going to practice together. We're going to practice together. I'm going to ask for some volunteers and you have to ask for directions. And your other classmates are going to give you directions, right? We're going to go with some volunteers. Volunteers? Volunteers? Get out of the bridge. Somebody else? Somebody else? Another participant? Okay, Gerardo, do you want to ask for directions or give directions? El de preguntar la dirección, quizá. Okay, amazing. Very good. Okay, select someone, Gerardo. You're going to ask for directions, right? You're going to ask for directions. Select someone, select a classmate. Uh, Erika Yesenia. Erika Yesenia. Yes, okay, Erika Yesenia. Very good. Okay, listen. Gerardo is going to ask for directions. Erika Yesenia? Gerardo is here. Gerardo is here. So Gerardo is going to ask you for directions. Gerardo is going to say, how do I get or how can I get? So it, it depends on the place. And Erika is going to give you directions, Gerardo. Let's go. Um, hello, I am, I'm sorry. Uh, how do you, I get to the post office? Okay, very good. How do I get to the post office? That, that's Gerardo's request, Erika. You're going to help him. So remember, Gerardo is here, Erika. And he wants to get to the post office. Gerardo is here. Give me a second. Yeah, 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 no problem. Gerardo is here. And this is the post office. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, post office is... Um, <laughs> let, let, me, let, me, let me help you, let me help you. Let's, let me give you the, the, the beginning. 
and then you continue. So Gerardo is here, Erika. Gerardo is okay. here. Gerardo is okay. Go up the first avenue. Okay? So Gerardo, okay. go here, right? And go up. Go up the first avenue. Then left, turn right or turn left? The right. Turn right or turn turn left? Gerardo is here. Go up the first avenue. Now, turn right or turn left? Debe no, de cruzar right. a la derecha o izquierda? Right. Turn right. Turn right. On, Erika. On, on. Yes, on Palm Street. On Street. Next to bank. Yeah, very good. The post office is next to the bank. Very good, Erika. Excellent. So Gerardo was here. And Erika is going to okay. say, go up the first avenue. On right mm -hmm. on Palm Street. Post office is next to the bank. Very good. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your help. That's good. That's good. All right. Thank you, Carolyn, Erica. I will have two more volunteers who wants to participate. Me, teacher. Thank you, Jensi. Somebody else? Me, too. Okay. Then Jeremias, and then I will have Veronica with somebody else. Veronica, Veronica Milagro. I will go first with Jensi and Daniel. Uh, who wants to give directions and who wants to ask for directions? Uh, uh, ask question. Okay. Okay. Okay, you're going to uh, ask for to... directions to, to Daniel. And you're here, okay. Jansi. Okay. Daniel, how do I get to the superma supermarket? Very good. Solo que quiteme el cuadro, por favor. Yes, uh, remember that Jancy is here. Jancy is here. And the question was, how do I get to the supermarket? We was try head on First Avenue and turn left, turn left on the Palm Street. And turn right your, turn your right. And the supermarket turn your right. Yeah, very good. Turn left on Town Street. The supermarket is on the left or on your left? On your right, sorry. On your right. On your right. On the right. Exactly. Very good. This is the direction for Jansen. Sure. No pregunta. Yeah. En esa respuesta sería siempre correcto el D, el artículo D, o poner o decir también your right, o por decir a tu oh. derecha, a tu derecha. Yeah, yeah, you can say your right. It's okay. You can say it. You can say on your It's right. on the left, teacher. Or on the left. On the right, in this case, on the right. If you're in this position, so you're in this position. So you're here, right? You say go straight on the on the first avenue, turn left mm -hmm. on Pound Street. So then you move right like this, right? And you continue. And this is your right. So you turn around when you when you turn left, you turn around and you're like, like this, right? So you continue. So this is your right. The market is here. This is your left. Mm -hmm. That's why it's the right or on your right. Again, go straight on the first avenue. From left on Pound Street. And the supermarket is on your right. Yes. Very good. Thank you, Daniel and Jancy. 
when I go with Veronica Milagro, now we will select somebody else. Somebody else? Te preguntas, so I do, I do this. I am both. Let's go with Veronica Milano and I'm going to listen to somebody else. Somebody else? Eh, Veronica, select someone. Select someone. It's a classmate. Mm, Ruth Milagro. Ruth Milagro, okay. Very good. Eh, who wants to ask for directions and give directions? Ask, ask for directions. Okay, Veronica is, is going to ask for directions and Ruth Milagro is going to give directions. Okay, let's go with you. Veronica Milagro is here. So we continue with the same position. Okay, Veronica Milagro, let's go. Let's uh, ask. How, how do I get to the police? Okay, to the police. All right, that is the question. Milagro, how do I get to the police? Veronica is here. Now let's identify what is the police station. Veronica is here. And let's look for the police. So now you have to give directions to Veronica. In... Ruth? Are you ready? Sí, sí, ahorita, se lo estoy yeah. viendo ahí. Yeah, no, no worries, no worries. Eh, go up the first avenue um, Fear? No, first no. Turn right or turn left? Right. Right. Okay, this one? Right. Um, or left? Uh, this is your right. This is your right. And this is your left. 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 Uh, left. Okay. Turn left. Left. Eh, ¿Puedes mover el cuadrito, por favor? Yeah, sorry. And left. Um... Say go up the first avenue. Turn left. No. Um, on David Street. On David Street. Okay. David Street. This is the this is the trace, Ruth Milagro. Veronica is here. You say go up, yes, first avenue. From left on David Street. The police is uh, from pharmacy. The police is oh, but you're looking over here. So the police is here. So we have a firehouse, we have a bus station, we have a school. Perdón, perdón, me equivoqué, pensé que el otro lado estaba. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, no worries. Me confundí yeah. con otro. Ah, entonces sería um, go, go up first avenue um, uh, turn left yeah. on Davis Street. Yes. Street, um, Continue. The police is walk down. Second Avenue. Hmm. But in that case, if you say turn right on Second Avenue, so you go up, you go up. So probably you can say it just like 
turn left on ABC Street. So you're going this and this way. Walk. You continue. Uh, teacher. Yeah. Se podría decir walk walk down on Second Avenue. O podría decir mm. this is on the corner. Yeah, no, can, can be. But yeah, so the most accurate is the police is it's on, on the, the corner. corner. From the second okay. avenue. On the corner of Second Avenue. The second avenue. Can be. Y se podría decir in front of bus station. In this case, it's across from. Across from, remember? Across from. Across from the firehouse. The firehouse. Or the bus station can be. Can be. But in this case, it can be the firehouse. So this is a way. This is a way. Go up, as Romilado said, go up the first avenue. From left, close to the izquierda, on Davis Street. And we can say the police can be, right? Can be that that can that can be can be in that way too. We can say go past the bus station like this. Go past the bus station. And then you can say the police is on the corner. Just like that, in the corner, if you want. But it is understandable. It's understandable. The police is on the, is on the corner, across from the firehouse. This is another possibility. But let's go with the first one. And then I will go, I will give you the second one. Go up the first avenue, right? Turn left on the busy street. The police is on the corner of Second Avenue, right? Can be like that or just on the corner. Across from across from the firehouse. Across from the firehouse. Or the second possibility can be go up. The first avenue, again, turn left from Davis Street, go past the bus station, the police is on the corner, across from the firehouse. You can omit, if you want, you can omit across from the, the warehouse. It's okay, because it's just the police is on the corner. If you want to, if you want to give a, a small directions, right? So it's, it is on the center. Okay, but if you want to include it, you want to say across from the firehouse, you can do it. You can do it. Okay, so this is the way, guys, we ask for directions and we give directions. Okay, any questions? Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yo quiero salir de la duda. Yeah. Yo creo que tengo problemas de lateralidad. Usted acaba de decir que the police is on, on, on right, eh, es decir, a la derecha. También el supermarket está, bueno, no, a la izquierda. Turn left, turn no. left on Davis Street. Supermarket, turn left, eh, the, pal, eh, the Pal Street. O sea, estoy equivocada. O the, estoy... Supermarket, the supermarket is on your right. It's on your right qué? because you are in this position. Se cruzó la cuando se subió acá cruzó cruzó la cruzó a la izquierda. Uh -huh. Su posición okay. ahora es acá. Okay. Se continúa recto y es a la derecha. Okay. Sí. It's clear. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, and the other one I I said uh, the police is on the corner. On the corner, it's an esquina. Yeah. It's for the position, but we think that sometimes, when we do from left on the Davis Street, on Palm Street, it's because we do this here. We move the position. Now, this is the right, this is the left. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. Okay. Somebody else questions? Preguntas, dudas? All right. Yo solo quiero pedirle si puede poner este en grande el cuadro para poder tomar una captura de pantalla, el ejemplo, oh, por favor. Sure. 
Give me a second. This is the, the last example. You will can. Let me show you the other ones. This ones. So you can take a screenshot. Listen, uh, before to go, because it's time. Um, what I want to do, I need you to keep practicing. Please. Take a screenshot of the map. And yeah, on your own. I need you to work in this case in practice. Let's ask for directions. Write a small conversations or small dialogues in your notebooks, like these ones, based on the map, right? Based on the map. Or you can use a, a yesterday's map, right? But please, I want you to do this. I want you to do this as small exercises, as small dialogues with the map. I need you to ask for directions and give directions. That will be an extra practice for you. Quiero que practicamos de esa forma. Tenemos que actuar de ese mapa y también podemos tomar en cuenta el de ayer, ¿verdad? Hagamos estos pequeños diálogos, estos pequeños ejercicios, para que ustedes puedan pues, ir familiarizándose más con la forma en que damos dirección, ¿verdad? Que hacemos preguntas acerca de él. ¿Eh? ¿Any questions? Before you go, it's next time. Vamos a hacer preguntas antes de finalizar. Que nos ha agotado el tiempo. It's okay, teacher. Thank you. No question, teacher. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Anytime. No question, teacher. Very good. Yeah, it's a pleasure. I'm sorry that we don't have more time. We will continue, right? We will continue in this case. Pero vamos a continuar con con ese ejercicio, verdad? Ya se nos agotó el tiempo. Okay. Pero quiero que hagamos eso. Sigamos practicando. Eso. Okay. Well, everybody, if we will continue tomorrow. No olvidemos que hasta este día pues tenemos para completar hasta la sección 3 y completar el meter. Si ya lo hicimos, perfecto. Si no lo hemos hecho, aún tenemos tiempo. Antes de las 12, ¿verdad? Para completar el meter. Y terminar hasta la sección 3. Mañana damos inicio con la sección 4, semana 3. Que los veo mañana. Okay? Well, everybody, have a good night. Stay safe. Many good night, teacher. Your families, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, night teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good Bye night. anytime. Yeah. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.